Joan Beverly Crock, also known as Joni, was an American philanthropist and third wife of McDonald's CEO Ray Kroc. Chapter 1 Early Life Joan Beverly Mansfield was born on August 27, 1928, in West St. Paul, Minnesota. Her father, Charles Smart Mansfield, was a storekeeper and later a railroad telegraph operator and salesman. Chapter 2 Marriage and Family In 1945, Mansfield married Roland F. Rowley Smith, a Navy veteran who would become a McDonald's franchisee, eventually owning three stores in Rapid City, South Dakota. The couple's only child, a daughter named Linda, was born the following year. Mansfield met McDonald's Corp. Founder Ray Kroc while playing organ at the Criterion Restaurant in St. Paul, Minnesota in 1957. Ray said in his autobiography that he was stunned by her blonde beauty. However, they were both married. They met again at a McDonald's conference in 1969. Within six months they had divorced their spouses and married each other. Following Crock's death in 1984, she inherited his fortune. Chapter 3 Philanthropy In 2002, Crock Center, a large Salvation Army community center that she helped fund, to the tune of $87 million, opened to the public. She later bequeathed an additional $1.6 billion to open Salvation Army Croc centers across the nation, the largest one-time gift ever recorded. Several institutions in the San Diego area are named after her, including the think tank Joan B. Croc Institute for Peace and Justice and the Joan B. Croc School of Peace Studies the world's top peace institution at the University of San Diego, the St. Vincent de Paul Joan Croc Center for the Homeless in Downtown and the Croc Copley Animal Shelter in the Morena District. Additionally, Joan established and endowed University of Notre Dame's Joan B. Croc Institute for International Peace Studies. Croc preferred to give donations anonymously, but recipient organizations often insisted on publicizing her gifts, hoping to attract new donors. As the Padres owner, Croc started Major League Baseball's first employee assistance program for players and staff with drug problems. Croc was also politically active. In 1985, she spent millions of dollars in support of nuclear disarmament, which included reprinting the book Missile Envy by Helen Caldecott, as well as publishing ads in major newspapers calling for disarmament. She anonymously gifted a Paul Conrad sculpture depicting a nuclear mushroom cloud, chain reaction, to the city of Santa Monica, where it still sits today. Because of her public no-nukes work, Cal Thomas, a conservative syndicated columnist, called her a McNutt. Croc is affectionately known by the citizens of Grand Forks, North Dakota, and East Grand Forks, Minnesota, as the angel because of her anonymous $15 million donation to assist the cities after a devastating flood occurred there in 1997. She was revealed as the source of the funds after reporters tracked down ownership of the jet that she used to fly into the area to survey the damage. After her death in 2003, it was announced that Croc had left the majority of her estate to the Salvation Army for the purpose of building recreation centers all across the nation. Another of her major donations was $225 million to National Public Radio including $5 million to her local public radio station, San Diego's KPBS. Chapter 4, Death and Legacy Croc died of brain cancer on October 12, 2003, at Rancho Santa Fe, California, at the age of 75. She was cremated and most of her remains were entombed at the El Camino Memorial Park in Sorrento Valley, San Diego. Her will included significant bequests for a number of organizations. $1.5 billion for the Salvation Army. $50 million for the University of San Diego's Joan B. Croc Institute for Peace and Justice. $50 million for the University of Notre Dame's Joan B. Croc Institute for International Peace Studies. $20 million for the San Diego Hospice and Palliative Care, which was in addition to the $18.5 million she donated to build the institution during her life. Chapter 5, In Popular Culture The biography Ray and Joan, 
The Man Who Made the McDonald's Fortune and the Woman Who Gave It All Away, published by Dutton in 2016 and written by Lisa Napoli, examines the Crocs relationship. Croc is portrayed by actress Linda Cardellini in the 2016 American biographical drama film The Founder.